Let's calculate the limit when x tends to 3 of x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x squared minus 9. To calculate the limit of a function, the first thing you do if the function is continuous, in this case the function is the quotient of two polynomials, you simply replace the x value. Because the quotient of two polynomials is a continuous function, we replace the x's. Um, x tends to 3, so we replace the x by a 3. On top we get 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 6. Underneath we get 3 squared minus 9. And this gives you 3 squared which is 9 minus 5 times 3 which is 15 plus 6 over 3 squared which is 9 minus 9. On top we get um, 9 minus 15. This gives us minus 6 plus 6 equals 0. <clears throat> and underneath 9 minus 9 equals also 0. So, we obtain from the limit 0 over 0. That's an indetermination. <clears throat> this means that by obtaining 0 over 0, you can deduce what the value of the limit is. We can also observe that by replacing the x by 3 cancels the denominator. This means x equals 3 is not part of the domain. But we are still cap capable of solving the limit because it is an accumulation point. So now to obtain the limit's va value, we copy um, the limit <coughs> um, when x tends to 3. And now we have to separate this in factors to see if we can simplify x squared minus 5x plus 6. We do Ruffini. You get the 3 because x tends to it x squared minus 5x plus 6, coefficients of the x squared 1 from the x5 and from the independent term 6. You descend the 1, 3 times 1, 3, minus 5 plus 3 minus 2, 3 times minus 2 minus 6, 6 minus 6 equals 0. So then x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals this. So as we put there are 3, it's a, a, x minus 3 times coefficient, x minus 2 plus rest, which is 0, so we obtain x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals x minus 3 times x minus 2. Underneath, x squared minus 9, uh, x squared minus 9, you can also do Ruffini, or express it as x squared minus 3 squared, then it's the difference of two squares, which equals x plus 3. 3 <clears throat> times x minus 3. So now this x minus 3, the other x minus 3, go. When you simplify this, um, this is always going to happen. So you have the limit when x tends to 3 of x minus 2 over x plus 3. A limit, as it is a quotient of a polynomial, you substitute it. Um, if it gives you a number, it's uh, a limit, and if not, we would have to do Ruffini again. In this case, you do x times 3, uh, x, 3 minus 2 over 3 plus 3, 3 minus 2 on top is 1, and underneath 3 plus 3 equals 6. As it gives you the number, the answer to the limit is 1 over 6, 1 sixth.